Ugandan bride who went into coma a day after her wedding dies. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. A newly wedded bride who went into coma after a procedure for birth control at Women Hospital International and Fertility Clinic Bukuto in Kampala, Uganda has died. Like sincerely, why and how? Like this one is, I don't know, this is a mistake. Did they tell her that this would happen? Oh my goodness. This is scary. Oh. Like it is really, really scary. Or did, did she have any kind of illness before? Like how? What exactly happened? Is it that they did not place it well? What exactly? Like, no. Sincerely, an autopsy should be conducted when they know the cause of it. Because yes, she did this. What exactly caused it? I cannot even imagine the kind of pain the husband, the, 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 the family of the, the, this lady now will be feeling. How does some, just in the twinkle of an eye, something, somebody who was celebrating, you know, who was full of, you know, celebration and congratulations, you know, in the twinkle of an eye, the person is now being lowered to Mother Earth. Like, he cannot fathom it. Huh. Like, this one is even scary, you. Why do they say, they, no, they should know. They should help, they should help others by making sure an autopsy is conducted, who did it, what mistake or call, so that somebody else will not pass through this, will not meet this end. It's a pity now that her own is going to be looked like, you know, now when people will not want to go and do an implant, you know, for, for family planning, they will not be like, I don't want to die, like, you know, it's a pity that you are being used like a, 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 a scapegoat. Now, mind, I cannot even imagine what, as in, what the family is feeling, but I just pray that, you know, they are consoled, that God feels, you know, the, 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 the space for them that this has created. God feels their hearts. God consoles them. It's very sad. Just after the wedding. Just nothing. Just after the wedding. Ah, oh, no, no. Now the news in detail. Joanne Namutebe died on Thursday, 9 December 16. Kampala Metropolitan Police and Criminal Investigation Directorate's officers confirmed on Friday. Namutebe wedded Mr. Derek Wambuare last Friday, December 10th, and went for a birth control procedure on Saturday. According to investigators, Namutebe fasted two days consecutive, consecutively before her wedding. The medical personnel at the hospital checked Namutebi and found her uterus was not in the right position. The doctors allegedly advised her to take some water to correct the problem. She developed pain after the procedure and fainted. Medics later took her to Victoria Hospital where she has been on life support. The incident led to police intervention and arrest of four workers of Women's Hospital International and Facility Clinic on offenses of negligence. Kampala Metro Metropolitan Police Deputy spokesman Mr. Luke Owoye Sigri said the diseased body has been taken to Kampala Cap Capital City Authority Mortuary for a post-mortem. Criminal Investigation Director Spokesman Charles Twain had also said the post-mortem would guard the investigations once the report is out. The post-mortem and the test we did will help us know whether there was a crime or not, Assistant Superintendent of Police Twain said. The health condition of the bride caused stress to the groom and he has been under care of his family members. Meanwhile, police have released on bond four health workers of Women's Hospital International and Fraternity Clinic in Bukuto, Kampala, who were detained over allegations of negligence. The suspects who include the hospital administrator, doctor, nurse and laboratory technician were in detention at Kira Road Police Station since Monday but have been released. The Women's Hospital International and Facility Clinic spokesperson, Mr. Arthur Matsiko, confirmed the release of the health workers. They have been released and police bound, Mr. Matsiko said. The hospital says it is not sure of what really caused the health complication. However, Matsiko said they are cooperating with the police in the investigations. We do not know the angle the case is going to take. We have not received any result from the police. We believe. The police are doing their best, Mr. Masiko ordered. 
Very sad morning for us all. Just Friday last week, you were a very happy bride on your wedding, and today you have gone to be with the Lord. Rest in peace, dear Joanna Motebi, daughter of the headmistress of Gayaza High School, Mrs. Rubina Kizito. May the Almighty send all the angels in heaven to be with you and give you the strength to bear the loss. It is very sad. Like you cannot, cannot, you cannot, you cannot. I know a lot of people will be like, you know, why birth control? Why this is, why you are, your marriage is so young? Let me tell you something. It is their lives and they make decisions for themselves. There are people who like, before I get into the business of, you know, from um, the juggling and juggling of bachelorhood and spinsterhood or spinstership or whatever you call it, they, they get into the marriage stage. They like, let me really... Let me really study this person. Let me not even study. Enjoy this person. Let me live with this person. Let us have what we call happy memories. Some do it for six months. Some do it for one year. Some do it for um. Some do it for two years. There's some people who do it for two years, and then later they say, "Fine, I've like these memories will help us." You know. When the day is when the days are gloomy, when gloomy days comes, when there is no more time, I will remember that once upon a time my husband was loving, my wife was loving. It is because of these things. There are people who take such decisions. And you won't blame them for taking it. Because the stress of just you are planning a wedding and bam, you have, you know, entered before you know it during the wedding when the wife has taken in and just from one stress to another might cause a strain in the relationship. Let me let me be let me be truthful. So some people like, you know, let me enjoy. Let us all even apart from let me enjoy. Some will say, okay, let us gather enough. So that when these children will start coming, we will have enough. We will not bring in children that, you know, we are going to start having um, trouble um, taking care of them when they come. That is, the, that is just it. So a lot of people will come online and be like, you know, how do you, how can you? It is a sin and it's not a sin. And look, it is their lives. Sincerely, it is their life. And like I said earlier on, it is only God. It is only God that knows why. This is very painful. I don't even, like I said, the family of the girl, the husband, I cannot even imagine. I cannot even imagine. One, just one, he only was the bride or was the, was a, what they call a, a, a husband to wife for, let's say, a less than a day. Less than a day. And then he's now a widower. Very sad. Very, very sad. I just hope that, you know, God consoles them. This is very, very like... This one, like you don't know, but I just hope that you know what causes what whatever causes it should should be found out so that you know such incidents do not happen again. Others now take what I call precaution or preventive measures. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for sending it to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.